Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the exact techniques that I like to use if my footage that I'm editing is too much for the hardware that my computer has to offer. So whether this is because I'm editing 8K or if I'm editing on my laptop, the reason doesn't matter. The point is you can use these techniques and little tricks to smooth out that playback inside of the actual editor itself. So if you're dealing with skippy footage, let's get that fixed. This is the clip that we're going to be working with today, and as you can see, it's pretty riddled with effects, hard to run. So with a clip like this, um, that we have heavily affected inside of Fusion, generally you're going to be running into some struggles with getting it to play back smoothly in your actual viewer here. So the first thing that you're able to do with something like this is if you know that your effects are good to go, you've got them keyframed where you want them, everything is square there, what you're going to do is just turn off your effects. This is the original clip that we were working with. It's significantly easier to run than this affected version. But if you go ahead and bypass color grades and fusion effects with this button right here, it all goes away. So if you know that you're good to go with where your effects are and how they look, you can go ahead and just shut them off. And then your computer doesn't have to render them to play them right here. Same deal with color grades. So if you're okay with your footage and then when you color grade it, it gets really skippy and hard to run, just go ahead, toggle them off. You can turn them back on whenever you need to. It's just that easy. So this is this, but with effects. The next thing we're going to do is going to be the most beneficial for you when you're dealing with footage that might be a high resolution. So it's going to be harder for your computer to deal with because there's more data there. So what you're going to do for that is come on up to playback, go to proxy mode, and then go to quarter resolution. And then it will display for you a quarter resolution copy inside of your viewer here. So you've got your clip. And then it will look just the same, but it will be easier for your computer to run because the one that's showing here will be a lower resolution version. But the changes you make to that version are also applied to the full res original. It's pretty cool, easy to do, and it will really speed up the way that your footage plays back. The next thing you can do is to use optimized media. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow Resolve to convert your footage inside of Resolve only to be a to be a file that is more easily workable by Resolve. You're going to be giving Resolve the best version of that footage for Resolve without affecting the original copy or the rendered output. So the way you're going to go about generating optimized media is you're just going to go ahead and right click on a clip, come down until you see generate optimized media and then go ahead and click it you'll get this little progress bar and then it's done. Once you've done that, you should immediately notice a smoother playback from Resolve. But make sure that you have Use Optimized Media if available checked in the playback menu here. Otherwise, it just won't use it. The next technique for smoother playback that we're gonna use here is also in the playback menu. We're gonna drop that down. We're gonna go ahead and go to the render cache and change that to user. And then once render cache is set to user, we're gonna come back into the menu, go to fusion memory cache and turn that on. And once you've done those things, you should see above your compositions, this little bar above your footage here. And it's gonna first show up red, but then once it's rendered, it will be blue. So if you have a red bar and then it goes blue, you should get smooth playback throughout that clip. And then if all of that fails, something that doesn't do much, but I always like to do it because I tell myself that it does something, is I will reduce the size of my viewer window here just so that my graphics card and processor don't have to do so much to show me a big video. If all of those things put together don't give you smooth playback or workable playback from your footage, you're going to need to find a higher powered computer or upgrade your hardware to be able to handle the strain that video editing puts on your system. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope that the techniques shown here really smooth out your editing process because really editing with a smooth machine is so much more enjoyable and less stress inducing 
than editing on a lower end machine that's really struggling. So do everything you can to help your computer along by using these techniques and I'll see you guys next Thursday.